everybody. It is 5 p.m. and it's time for Flow Yoga Mom with me, Cecily. It's good to see you all and I hope you're having a great, great Tuesday evening. You know, we just got to keep plugging along every day of the week, do the best we can with our yoga practice breath practice, meditation practice, maybe you even have fitness and cardio and things like that. You know, all of those things, we have to stick with our disciplines, focus, stay connected, right? Display, perseverance, discipline. It's good to see you all. All right, as usual, I start with my right foot on top of my left, and I always like to take this time to remind everyone of all the different places you can find me. On Fridays and Sundays at noon, I'm on Instagram Live doing alignment yoga. And if you join me on Sundays, you'll be introduced to my new camera gal. And her name is Jack since she's eight years old and she is adorable as much as she is mischievous. So that's kind of always an interesting video to watch. And then I'm here on Tuesdays and Thursdays doing Flow Yoga Mob at 5 on Facebook. And then same thing on Saturdays at 12 noon. Now, if you ever miss a program, you can find me on YouTube at Yogi Cecily. On Instagram, it's Cecily underscore Yogi. So pretty much that's a good way to find me. Just combine Cecily and Yogi and somewhere in the internet, it will all come together. I hope you're feeling fine and dandy and ready to go. Let's go ahead and put the left leg on top. Switch that up, put your left leg on top. Now, I had a wonderful time today working with a brand new student, a brand new client in Virginia. And she was working on her double fire sticks and external rotation of the legs. You know, it might take you a while to sit like this as a yoga practitioner, so don't be surprised uh, if you just have to keep working on it. A blanket underneath your bottom will help with that, yeah? Or a block is good too. Let's go ahead from this position, place your hands in prayer, and five times let's breathe and roll the shoulders back, yeah? So I'm going to inhale, lift my ribs, look upward on the exhale, belly button to spine, bow the head, round the back, exhale. Two more times, lift, inhale, roll the shoulders and the collarbones back. On the exhale, rounding down, you know, tuck the tailbone, belly button to spine, let your neck relax. And one more this way, lifting, lifting, lifting up, inhale, and then exhale, rounding down, rounding down, rounding down, wonderful. Let's go to the left side first, add a little forward fold over the left leg. Lift up, look forward, and then walk your hands over to the right. Breathe and exhale. You know, push your fingers forward, push your ribs forward. Lift up, inhale, and walk, 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 walk. You gotta breathe again. Then exhale, forward fold over left. Lift up, press up, inhale one more time. Walk, 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 breathe as much as you like here. And then remember, inhale first, and then exhale, forward fold over the right. Good, 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 come on up, inhale, and change the legs, put the right leg on top of the leg, yeah? Hmm, good. Again, like a little blanket or a little block back there is always going to be helpful. Right, hands in prayer three times. Lift up, roll the collarbones back, roll the shoulders back, open your throat, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, belly button to spine, round down and bow. Two more times, lift up, lift up, roll the shoulders back, open your collarbones, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, belly button to spine, and rounding, rounding, rounding. One more, lift up, inhale, open your eyes, open your throat, right? And then exhale, round down. Now we're going to take this rounding down over to the right and push, push, push everything so far forward. Then lift up and walk, 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 walk to the left, inhale. 
Exhale, push down, way down, way down. Lift up, inhale, you love it, love it, love it. Walk it over to the right. See, I'm really lifted up high, then exhale, then push down, round down. Last one, lift up, inhale, walk it over. See the chest so broad and open. Exhale, forward fold over the left. Wonderful, coming on up from there. We're gonna face the right side and extend the legs out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's stay sitting up. Place your hands behind your thighs, sitting up, and draw your feet in as close as possible. Listen carefully. Roll back, please. Roll forward, exhale, then take your left leg, straighten it out, and then grab your right foot and bring it to your third eye. Good. Roll back, roll forward, extend the right, and bring the left to the third eye. Let's do it again. Roll back, roll forward. Good. Right leg to the face. Roll back, roll forward, left leg to the face. Four more. Roll back. Roll forward, right leg to the face, three more, roll back, roll forward. Let's see that left foot in, and two more, roll back, roll forward, right leg, yeah, and again, roll back, roll forward, and that's your left foot, good. Hold on to the left foot or the ankle and stretch the leg out. Mm -hmm. Let's just rock forward and back. I call this the rocking chair. I'm just kind of going, yeah, just letting it rock. Now here's the dealio though. You notice the leg is nice and straight. So wherever you are, it doesn't matter whether the leg goes high or low, as long as it's straight. Breathe, three, rock forward, rock back, two, uh-huh, and one. Now stay back and let go of the leg. Fire, 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 fire. Yes, this leg, your left leg is going to go down with a flex, up with a point. Down with a flex, up with a point. Four more. Fire, fire, three more. Up with a point, two more. Up with a point, one more, one more. And then hold on to the left leg again. And then draw it in for the deepest stretch. Five, four, three, right, two. Oh, hi, big toe. Hi, foot. And one, good. Roll back on your back, give your knees a hug. We're gonna do the same drill again, and that's gonna mean that with the bent knee, the external rotation, start with your left leg first. Roll forward, left leg in and out, roll back. And right leg, right foot in and roll back. Four more, four, left foot in, yes. And roll back, there you go, and three, right, in, and roll back, two more. Left foot, left knee is bent, foot to the face, and back, one more, forward. Now that's your right leg, and hold. Now hold on to the right ankle or the right foot. You know, you don't have to hold on to the foot. Just start your rocking chair. Mm -hmm. My students and I talk a lot about, um, there's more than one thing going on in a position. I think sometimes people get so involved with grabbing the foot that their back is round and the leg is bent. Like the only way you can grab your foot is with a bent leg. So sometimes you have to sacrifice the grip so that the leg can be straight and so that your shoulders can relax. And then you can lengthen through the spine. Great, now rock back and hold and then let go. All right, down with the flex. Up with a point, come on, down with a flex, up with a point, four more, feel the quad, up, 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 and three more, feel your quad, up, 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 and two more, quad, quad, up, 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 one more, you're gonna hold on again, hold on. Look, I've got a low grip on the leg, right down here at the calf, and I'm gonna draw the leg in and then flex the foot and look up at my big toe, it's like a little umbrella over my head. Three, yes, 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 draw the leg up. Two, 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 and one. Good, roll back on your back. Okay, I wanna get us fired up with a lot of determination. So let's do uh, some uh, other abs, some more abdominals. Well, go ahead and take your left leg up and send your right leg out, then lift up in a crunch. These are switches, and you're crunching and stretching at the same time. Let's go for eight, eight, and seven, six and five, 
four, three, two, and one. Roll back, roll forward, forward fold stretch. We come on up 12 switches, 12 switches. Yep, and legs up. Here you go 12, one, and two, three, and four. Nice, five, six, seven, eight, four more. You only look at four, and three, and two, and one. Roll back, roll forward, forward stretch. Nice. Way down. So good. Shall we do 16? Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll back. Mm -hmm. Pick whichever leg you want up first. And 16 switches is one and two, three and four. Look at the way that I'm crunching. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight, seven. Six. Look at the way the legs are straight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll forward, forward fold. All right, now that's saying something. That's really saying something. Let's sit up both legs. Both legs in Navasana. So it'd be both legs without your arms. Lean back a little bit. Take the breath and extend your legs. Hold. Five, four, three, listen carefully, two on one, cross your right ankle in front of your left, use your hands and push your bottom up, five, four, if you do a shaga, this is a familiar, three, two, and one, Navasana, lean back, extend the legs out, hold, five. Four. It's easier when you do it in the beginning of class. Three, <laughs> two, and one. Left leg in front. Now, in this iteration, I'm leaving my feet on the floor and pushing my bottom up just about an inch. It's also going to help warm up our wrists. Yes? We've got two more of these. Navasana. Lean back. Extend the legs. Five, four. Come on. Power up the quads. Three, two, and and one, if you want to lift everything up, go ahead, five, bottoms up, four, three, two, and one, and down, extend your legs, this is the last one, Navasana boat pose, five, four, three, two, on one, look, I'm going to cross my ankles, keep my knees and my feet way out in front, and then push up, five, bottoms up, four, Three, two, and one. Forward fold over straight legs. That should be feeling a little easier. Nice, nice. Okay, all fours position. Swing it around. You're on your hands and knees. Nice. Okay, let's start with your right leg. Right leg out to the rear. Five times, right knee to the nose. Exhale to the nose. And back, and I'm not going to take it very high, to the nose, and back, yeah, 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 again, to the nose, draw in, and back, inhale, two more, to the nose, exhale, and back, now you know to get it to your nose, you have to push the floor away, to the nose, yes, yes, and back, good, step the right foot forward, lunge. Mm -hmm. Straighten out the front leg, hamstring stretch, half splits. Gorgeous, beautiful half splits. No big deal. Don't make a big deal out of it. Five, four, three. You've got the whole class to open your hamstrings. Two and one. Next up, Prasadi to Padottanasana. Pivot. Pivot on your feet. Look halfway up. Inhale. On the exhale, drop down both hands, both ankles draw down. Yeah, the goal is, the goal is to get your head all the way down on the floor. Three and two and one. Excellent. Turn to the left. The left leg is out straight in front, flat back. Half splits. Five, three, four, three. Again, we're going to have the whole class. Two, the warm up and hamstring in one. Prasadita. Palatanasana. Wide stance, staggered stance, forward fold. Three, listen carefully. Two, and one, look up, 
Go to your right side, triangle pose. Pivot your feet, place the right hand, dial the left side body up, five, four. So you can do get, get into these poses sooner rather than later. I like to use the standard standing poses as a warm up, right? Work on your alignments, back down, down, down to the center. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, draw down, down, down. So you might as well breathe and stretch in the beginning. Good, look halfway up, inhale. Going to the left side, triangle pose. Pivot your feet. Take the left hand over. I like to go to the outside of the left foot. Then dial up the right side, five, four. See that there, three. Mm -hmm. and two. And easy, take it down. You're looking to the left, downward facing dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand all the way up, inhale. Place your hands on your hips. Step your right foot forward, standard stance. Take your arms overhead, inhale once again. And then you're going into a reverse prayer or hold on to your elbows. Inhale up, forward fold, parge, votanasana. Parjvottanasana, right? Draw down deeply over the hip flexor, and your job is to put your chin on your shin. Three, right? Not your forehead on your knee. Two, it's your chin on your shin. And one, hands down, our first Chaturanga Vinyasa. I'm just going to step back, hold it firm, drop down into Chaturanga, and then take my upward facing dog, long, straight legs, and downward facing dog. Wonderful. Well, walk your hands back to your feet. Good. Stand all the way up, inhaling, and hands on your hips. Wonderful. Step the left foot forward. Standard stance, not too far. Arms go overhead again, and find a reverse prayer, or hold on to your elbows. That would be cool, too. Right? Exhale forward, fold, part, votanasana. Just know, just know the rule, the idea is chin on the shin. So this is entirely different than a round back. Sometimes the chin doesn't even make it to the shin, and that's better than forehead to the knee. Hands to the floor, plank. I'm just going to step back nice and sturdy. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Yes, yes, yes. And down dog. Exhale. Wonderful. Left leg lift. Step forward, lunge, prasarita, padottanasana. Wiggle the feet in, goddess, goddess squatting. Look, I get my feet in pretty close. Goddess squatting. Good, good, good. Hands in prayer. Five, four. So good. Three. Listen carefully. Two. And one. You're going back to the left. Downward dog only. Downward dog only on the left side. Okay, great. Right leg lift. Yes, yes, right leg. Step your right foot forward lunge. Stay low. You're going to step in and change this into rotated triangle. Step in and up. Place the left hand over the outside of the right foot, then dial up the right side, rotated triangle. Five, four, three. Two, chaturanga vinyasa on one. Yeah, nice and sturdy, upward facing dog. I'm not, uh, I'm not jumping uh, too early on the poses, downward dog. Now left leg lift, step forward in the lunge, face knee, prasadi to padottanasana, wiggle and squat, goddess squat. Goddess squat, drop right down in there. Use the elbows, press the knees open, breathe. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to the right. Go to the right side. Yeah, good. Downward dog. Yay. Just that. Then step your left foot forward in the lunge. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open up the lunge. Nice and low. Then take a breath and step the right foot into staggered stance. So you step in quite a bit. Well, Right hand cross over the left foot, then dial up the left side into your rotated triangle. Five, four, three, working all around the leg. Two, and one, chaturanga vinyasa. 
I'm just going to step it back. Very firm, upward facing dog. Great. And downward dog. Listen up. Stay facing on your right side. You're going to lift, lift the right leg first. Step it to the outside of the right hand lunge. Step. Right arm twist up and away from me. You're going to twist away from me and then go back to downward dog. Then the left leg will lift. Inhale, left foot to the outside. Exhale, left arm dial up. Inhale, downward dog, exhale. Let's do it again. Right leg goes up. Yes, right foot step out. Mm -hmm. Right hand dial up, inhale. And you're just going to go back again. So this is getting the core abdominals fired up. Left leg, draw in, belly button, spine, and step. Left arm twist up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And down you go. I got one more each leg, please. Right leg dial up. Mm -hmm. Right foot step to outside of the right hand. Right arm twist up. Downward dog. Last one. Left leg lift up. Left foot to the outside. Left arm goes up. Love it. And downward dog. So good, so good. Take the child's pose. Inhale, let's see. Wonderful. Wonderful. Take some sweat off. Yeah, good. Well, that's what I want to do today. You know, I want to um, really work on core and deep stretches, hamstring stretches. Let's go back to the half splits. Some of you out there can just rock on the full splits, but we're going to work on splits so much in this class that there's no hurry to get to the half split or get to the full splits. There's just no hurry to get there. The difference in this one, instead of staying up with a flat back, is I am going to reach my arms forward and bow down considerably. Three, look how I'm reaching. Re reach with your arms. Forget about getting your head down to the leg. Reach out with your arms. Two, reach out with your arms. And one, good. Come back to all fours and change legs. Just change legs, left leg out in front. And folks, those of you who have splits might enjoy really working out this half split variation because it's all hamstring. I work on getting my arms out ahead of the foot. I don't think about getting my uh, forehead to my knee. I'll tell you a secret. The real goal is to get the big toe on the top of your head. <laughs> That's the real goal, is to get your head and your foot to be at the same length forward. Great downward facing dog. All right, for my student Tim, let's do those knee circles. Right leg's going to come up, inhale. You're going to bend that leg in the air and do these knee circles. Now dig it. Look, when the knee goes up, look how the body is twisting. So enjoy that twist and lift and arc. Take two more in this direction, and one more. And now, now reverse the circle. Yes, four, breathe, and three, yes, two. See, I'm actually squeezing the foot in quite a bit, and one. Good, 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 and down. Child's pose, inhale, exhale. Dig it. I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. All right, downward facing dog. Knee circles with the left leg. It doesn't matter which direction you start, but you do want to lift and bend quite a bit. So four, squeeze into the back of the knee. Three, squeeze in. Two, breathe, breathe, lift. One, and you're going to reverse the circle. Down and up. Again and down and up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again and down and up. One more, and now look at the whole body twist, I don't mean mine, and downward facing dog. Nice. Walk your hands back to your feet. Look, halfway up, inhale. Exhale, just relax, Gary. Just relax, good. Stand all the way up any way that you like. Good. Three forward leg extensions. Three styles of forward leg extension. Style number one, it's neither up nor down. It's just somewhere in between. 
it's almost a bit of a 45 degree angle. So the right knee comes up. Breathe and then you extend the leg. So I'm not thinking high leg. I'm not thinking very high. It's a little higher than horizontal. And I'm gonna focus on the leg that I'm standing on to focus on that leg. Then you're gonna bend in and one. Arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Step, jump, or walk, chaturanga. Some of you are jumping, so go ahead, right? Don't break yourself though. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Mm -hmm. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Take the breath, hands on your hips. It's neither low nor high. Left leg, left knee. Take the big toe. It's slightly higher than horizontal if you can get it. Five, four, focus on the leg that you're standing on. Three, push your legs out. You're not pulling the leg up, you know. Two, you're, you're pushing out. And then one, and then then. Good, arms overhead, inhale. Oh, exhale, forward fold. Walk out, plank. Oh, chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale. And downward dog, exhale. Great, walk your hands back to your feet. Now, I think this next one is the hardest. Stand all the way up, inhaling, hands on your hips. It's the Bikram style, Janusir Sasana. Look at the difference in the technique. As the knee comes up, I fold over and make a flat back to the room. I stay low and extend the leg out, five, four, Ideally, you bow the head down to the leg. Three, which is head to knee pose. Two, and one. Bend it in, foot comes down, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Jump, step, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Great, and downward dog, exhale. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take your time now. You gotta breathe. Stand all the way up, inhaling, hands on the hips. Are you with me? I know, right? So left leg. This one requires such concentration. The left knee comes up, but then you must forward fold and bring the ribs onto the thigh. Then extend the leg out, five. Ideally, bow the head down to the knee, four. Great, three. Two, easy now, bend in, easy, foot comes down. Yeah, we got more arms overhead, inhale. Sure, exhale, forward, full. Step, jump, walk, you don't have to jump. Upward facing dog, inhale, we're gonna do it so many times. Mix it up, downward dog, exhale, sure. Hey, we got one more in the set. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Hands on your hips. Now this is the high side. This is where you're trying to get the leg go very high. If you've ever seen the video with Patabi Joyce and the six students in California doing a shanga, Richard Freeman, look at Richard Freeman's leg. <laughs> so high in the air. So you take the right foot. Now, now dig it. You're going to have to look up and out. You're going to have to tell yourself where you're going to put that leg. Don't fall over. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't fall. So yes, you have to tell yourself where you intend to extend it. Up, 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 five. You intend to extend it up high. Four, higher than it was before. Three, don't fall. Don't fall. Two, two, lift. Up, up, up. And one, dig it. We're going to stay here and do your left side. Good. Just take your arms up so you can breathe and hands on your hips. Okay, great. So there you see it. I wanted to do this tonight, three different kinds of Utiti Hasas Parangustasana in the Bikram formula, they call it head to knee. You will see Richard Freeman in the video using his arm to draw the leg up higher, three. So that's what you're trying to do, two and one. Chaturanga Vinyasa, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Walk out, chaturanga vinyasa, no big deal. Fasten your legs back together. 
Mm -hmm. And now we're facing dog. Great. Good. You're going to jump to the center and squat. I call it a toe squat. Squat on your toes. Good. Here, good idea to have blocks. Where's my block? This is just my, one of my favorite little bits of work. You're going to extend the leg. So start with your right leg and extend it out. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's there for you, take your hands away. Three, two, and one. Come back in. Straight legs, forward fold. You lift up, forward fold. Now, blocks are good. Maybe you don't need them. You can think about that. You can squat back down on toes. I want to get those blocks out of the way so you can see my feet. Some people will say, Cecily, Cecily, my arms aren't, aren't long enough to get the fingers on the floor. It's okay if you lean over a little bit. That's okay. All right, you're going to extend out the left leg. Out, five. Four, concentrate. Three, two, and one. Draw it in, straight legs, forward full. That just takes a lot of concentration and practice. Concentration and practice. Super, you're going to drop down into the squat again. Mm -hmm. Work with me. That's all I can say, children. I'm just trying to give you a lot of variation on a single concept. And so that means like, oh, I've never done that pose before. Like, you know, so work with me a little bit. Here you are definitely going to fold over a bit. You got to get your right leg out so you can grab it with your left hand and then lift up. Now, some people will ask, can I go flat footed in the left foot? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Five, four. So you notice I flattened out the left foot, three, and I'm trying to pick up the right leg, two, and one. Back up on toes because it's good for us. Mm -hmm. When we get into this position, you don't always have to do crow. We don't have to keep doing arm balances and crows. There's so much more to do. So what am I going to do? Get the left leg out and lean over. Right hand takes the left foot. Do I flatten down? Does the right foot eventually flatten? Yes. And then draw up the left leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back up on toes, straight legs, forward fold. Draw down. Belly buttons to the spine. Ribs on the thighs, draw down. Okay, chaturanga vinyasa. Let's bring the heat back. Step or jump, chaturanga vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhaling. And downward facing dog. Okay, let's move. Right leg lift. Step forward, lunge. Circle and hinge. Circle to the left, but hinge to the right. Which gives a very, very decent inner thigh stretch on your left leg. Left side of the room, chaturanga vinyasa. Upward facing dog, let's go to work. Downward dog, exhale, left leg lift. Inhale, step forward, lunge. Circle to the right, but hinge to the left, which is really to say that you're still looking to the right. Right side, chaturanga vinyasa, we do two more. Now, if this is hard for you, just take it with a grain of salt. In fact, downward dog, take your downward dog's hold and child's pose. Catch your breath, sit it back. Then come on, sit up where you can see, where you can listen, which I do a lot when I teach anyway. So my, my uh, students out there, you all know periodically I'll just stop. And I'll remind you, there is more going on than one thing. Many students will say, oh, my hips are tight. It could be your ankles or your knees. Oh, my core is weak. 
It could be the muscles around your spine. So the best thing is, let's go to downward facing dog. The best thing is, is to go to the pose to a general percentage. Right leg up, step the right foot forward. So instead of trying to go to the highest percentage of the pose, go to what you think is a 50% presentation of the pose. Then feel what the pose is about, right? So there's some hip flexor, good. There's some inner thigh and hamstring, left side chaturanga vinyasa. So instead of trying to always go 100% and then being down on yourself about your body, go at 50% and feel good about it. Left foot step forward, circle. So look, I'm doing a half hinge so that I can understand what this is about. Good, right side of the room, chaturanga vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhaling. And downward facing dog. Awesome, awesome. Hold your downward dog. Mm -hmm. Hold your downward dog. Twisted dog, right hand to the left foot, twist towards me. Mm -hmm. Usually I do this in the beginning, but I want to try to quiet your legs down just for a second. Focus on opening the shoulders and the armpits. Twisted dog, right hand to the left. Breathe, calm the breath, calm your legs, twist from the waist. Push out with your right arm. Yeah, good. And out. look, we're gonna jump towards the center again. Bend and jump, toe squatting. And then face me. Hi. Right ankle cross on top of your left leg. It's gonna look like a figure four. Let the knee drop open. I love. I love these up poses. And some of you know I had a knee injury from, really from kickboxing is what it came from. And I had to, to rehab my knees so that they would bend again, come back on toes. And so it's weird to me now that, uh, that, that my knees bend. <laughs> and uh, anybody who knew me at the time, I just, I just was, Yoga is over. I can't get to Lotus again. All of it, it's all over. Well, that wasn't true. <laughs> but it did take me about a year to recover back on toes. Now, if we're gonna do this again. A goal is to let go with the hands. Take your hands from the floor. All right, that's what she said. Okay, so right ankle over. The secret sauce is that I'm really sitting on my left foot. What would be your left foot? I'm really sitting on that foot. Five, four, concentrate. Three, two, and one. Good, relieve the pose, other side. It's not easy. This is not easy. You hear me saying the word concentrate for real. You have to find center space and gravity. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, straight legs, forward fold. Come on out of there. Did you think we were gonna do a lot of crow, uh, crow pose tonight, but we're not? Stand all the way up, inhaling. Good, hands on your hips. Now let's work on extending the leg to the side. Parjvogutiti. Padang Gustafsson. Right big toe. Difference here is the knee is out to the side. You can always stay here, right? We're just gonna extend the leg, not high, just out general to the room. Five, four, three. Concentrate on the leg that you're standing on. Two. And bend it in on one. Yay. On the left side, good. Standing balance, and I work with uh, Denise today. If you're out there, we worked on standing balance in our session today. Yeah, we did it. And we just figured out some things. Five, four. 
Three, I mean, if you have to use a chair or your kitchen counter to hold on to, why not, why not do that? Why not hold on to something until you feel confident? And one, bring it in. Right side, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Step out, lean into the pose. Five, four, no foot grab, nothing fancy. Three, concentrated balance. Two, and one, come on up, other side. Left side, Ardha Chandrasana. Lean out, firm up, five. Lean out and firm up, four, firm up, three, firm. It's a strength position, two, yeah. Yeah. and one, hello. Come on up, arms overhead, inhale, hands on your hips again. Face the left side of the room. Mm -hmm. Left arm out, left hand out, left hand, right foot. Rotated extended leg. Parigriti, utiti hastas, parangustasa here. Left hand, right foot, twist by four, three, two, and one. Bend it in and down. Yeah, don't fall. Face the other way. Good. Right hand, left foot. Got to get the outside edge of the foot. Push the leg out, twist the left rib back. Five, four, and if you bend that arm, three, you make it Egyptian. Yes, you do. Two, and one, chaturanga vinyasa. Hands down, step, jump. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. So good, take a child's pose. Yeah, now dig it, we're gonna finish mostly seated. And I know some of you are like, aw, I wanna do more cardio vinyasa. Ride a bike, <laughs> ride a bike. We're working on staggered stance splits right before. But now we'll get some more chaturanga vinyasa in there to keep heat. This is what I call a staggered stance split, both legs long and straight. I'm trying to walk my hands out ahead of the foot and bow down. Three, two, watch what I'm going to do here. And one, look up, look up. Now, walk up higher, higher, higher. Can you wiggle the back foot back? Then drop down and breathe again. Five, four. So we're going to keep the right leg forward. Three, now some folks aren't this low. Two, and if you're not this low, use blocks and stay on the high side. And one, watch this trick. The forward leg, your right leg, put bend back into it. And why? Because I don't want to rip my hamstring out. So I'm actually going to bend the forward leg. Keep the rear one long and straight. Listen carefully. Now, bend the back knee down. Mm -hmm. and drop both elbows down on the inside. Now, this right, the right toes are up, lifted. If you want it, if you're there, if you're very comfortable, very relaxed, and you've done it before, right? Once your elbows come down, you don't need to push up anymore. Push your legs out, and then you are in the splits that you've been working on all these years, you see? Now it's nice, bring the body back up. Breathe here, three, breathe, two, and one, good. Prasarita, Padottanasana. Well, I'm gonna keep this very wide stance. I'm going to stay pretty wide. In fact, it's not even prasavita. It's really lateral splits. Of course, we know who's really good with lateral splits. Ty Shepard and Sophia. That little front row mob. Great lateral splits. Not for everyone. Do lift up your toes. Look how my toes are up. 
So I'll struggle with this pose, but that's why I work on it. And I just work on just little by little, year after year, month after month, year after year, like feet have to just go teeny, teeny bits wider. Nothing extraordinary. I'm not trying to push it. Then I'm going to walk my hands forward and wiggle my feet in and turn to the left, child's pose. If you want chaturanga vinyasa, take it. If you need to keep heat and fire, take it. Mm -hmm. right, otherwise, we're going to come back up, get the left foot forward. Now, on this side, I'm just going to show you. So if you have trouble with splits, don't force it. Look how I've got the block. So, some of you practice you near a chair, near your sofa. Hey, come up higher, right? We all know Genesis would be in class. It would always come up higher, right? Come up higher. Focus on balance here. See, it's quite a difficult balance because neither foot is flat-footed. So work on the balance there. Good, 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 good. Now listen, if you are going all the way to fuller splits, the way to get there is through the rear leg. So I'm going to wiggle the rear foot back and then look at the set that comes in my hips as that foot goes back. Then, then next, the left knee, bend it. Keep your right leg long and straight. Feel that? Feel that hip flexor stretch in the right side? Then take a breath. You're going to keep the right leg straight. Drop your elbows down on the inside. Hang out here for a few breaths. Splits don't come easily for me, so I wanted to show you all uh, how, how long I'm committed to working on them. Then I drop the back leg. If I want splits, nothing's going up now. If I want splits, the legs push out. The front leg pushes out. And then use your blocks, use what's around you, and sit up. Five, four, work on the stretch. Three, two, yep, and a one. Stay wide if you can. You're working on your lateral splits. Not fun time for many people. But you get better at it. You get better at it. Notice how the head stays up on lateral splits. The head stays up, the toes go up. You just get better at it. Wiggle in, wiggle in, wiggle in, wiggle in, wiggle in, wiggle in. Good. Toes out, bend your knees. That feels good. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Arms overhead. Hands on your hips. Step your feet together. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Great. It's a stand up, right side stand up bird of paradise. How do you set this up? Lift the right knee, get the right knee on top of the right shoulder. Say what? Now what? Do what? I know. Let's just do that. Let's just figure out how the knee goes on the shoulder and not even extend the leg. Get it over your shoulder. Three, just that, just that. Two, and one. That goes down. Arms overhead, inhale. Now the balance there to do it this way, concentration. I lean forward, left knee. Take my time. Look, look, the leg, it's it's like I used to say it's like a coach bag, a coach, a big, gorgeous leather coach bag slinging over the left shoulder. Three, two, and one. Jump your feet out. Right side, warrior two. No big deal because we're not doing a lot of warrior pose, things like that. We've got to get into Parjival Konasana, right hand down, mm -hmm. and then get into the binding. The leg is going to go to your right, so step your left foot in. Bird of paradise. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't lose, don't fall, <laughs> and 
and one. Come down, right side. Chaturanga Vinyasa. See, it doesn't matter. In your mind is nothing but poise. Downward dog. In your mind there's nothing but poise. Right leg lift. Step the right foot forward. Prasari to Padmasana. Go ahead, stand all the way up. Inhale. Arms in the letter T. Left side, warrior two. Side angle lunge and the binding. Right foot steps in, bird of paradise. Eight, let's give it eight count. Seven, six, five. It's like an enjoy of folding. Four, three, two. And one left side, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Hey, look at you. Okay, upward facing dog. That's 15 minutes of good yoga. And downward dog and the child's pose. We got a little bit more to do, so take your child's pose. Take the sweat off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then sit. Go ahead, facing me. Legs out straight in front. Nice. Good on you. Well, there's just a whole category of poses that are a lot like Bird of Paradise, require the legs to be nice and open. So let's do uh, uh, compass pose, sundial pose to the right. Bend your left knee in. See, we just did something very similar. You're gonna have to get the right knee on your right shoulder. Yeah, so you gotta pull that leg in. I'm always showing students like to Get my face on the shin. Sorry, I have to scooch forward. Now, this pose, you'll be looking to the left and bending your waist to the right. Three. So squeeze into your right side obliques. Two. And one, changing sides. Take your time, not an easy pose. So what happens a lot of time in yoga, we get on the Instagram, if you're on the gram, you see people do these really gorgeous, beautiful poses. I don't know why we think, they look, they look buttery. The pose looks beautiful and buttery, I guess. I use that word a lot, buttery. Like you should just be able to slide into it. But for many, many people, myself included, to get to those positions requires an extraordinary level of concentration and understanding about how the body works. Look how much I'm going to fall. I was working with Spencer on this. I'm going to fall like I'm falling over on the left side. So in that way, then my abdominals and my torso have to engage so I don't fall over. Three, yeah. Then if I want to come up higher, if I want that leg to be more vertical, two, I have to push, push myself there. Some people are up, some people they'll be up off of the left buttocks, that's okay. And one, and come on out. Good, let's turn to the right, give your knees a hug, well done. What I want you to do just maybe in the next few moments is think through how your body feels and what type of poses would restore you. Now some folks are gonna get blankets out and maybe two blocks that's when I'm going to set up a Supta Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana. And that's just going to take some energy out of my sacrum. So that's nice. Many people like to go here. Some folks, a pigeon pose. You just don't feel like practice is done until you've done pigeon. You just adore that. Another person you might have in store for yourself some inversion practice or legs up a wall. Legs up a wall is great. So I want you to just have it in mind, like, what can you do that quiets your body? Think it through. Well, I'm going to sit on up and be 
begin to close out our practice for tonight. I want to thank everybody for being with me. I just so enjoy practicing with you and teaching, teaching you stuff, <laughs> teaching you the yoga stuff. Right? Inside of our yoga practice is just a bounty, a bounty of techniques to help us be, be well with ourselves and be well with the world. Even if persevering, perseverance and determination, even if that's something that we're trying to get, mm -hmm, that's in our yoga practice. Be strong, resilient, dedicated mm -hmm, to work and move with intention, to have intention. Great thing about intention, it's not about, oh, 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 I wish things were different. Intention is, oh, 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 I'm going to make things different. So with that, let's do the Gayatri, hands in prayer. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you. And for that we say, Namaste.